Today, I present to you the top three best alternatives to using StreamYard. And I'm actually gonna jump within these tools today and show you the differences on what tool may be better for you. So number three on the list is known as Riverside, or commonly called Riverside FM. Riverside FM is known for taking high quality interview footage. And when I say high quality, like there's not a better tool to be doing this. So if you're mainly taking high quality interviews, maybe you're doing like podcast like format, Riverside FM is the tool for you. And what's really cool here is after you shoot your video, they actually have like a built-in video editor and they can do a lot of transcript editing, which essentially means I can highlight text in here and I can hit the delete button and it automatically edits it for us. You can add music, you can change layouts, you can add images, voiceovers. It essentially has an all-in-one video editor within the tool. So here's the user dashboard here and it says, what are you creating today? You can do a record a video, you can add participants for an interview, you can schedule something, you can do the editor right here, and then you can do a lot of their AI voiceover stuff. If we click on record here real quick, click on join studio, all I would do here is choose my camera down here, and as you can see here, I have two webcams here. All I'd have to do is click record to start going live, then I can send people this link to send a guest and I can invite them. So yes, we can live stream with Riverside FM, but some of the other tools are a lot better and easier if you're mainly doing live streaming. So Riverside FM is number three on the list. Number two on the list is known as EV Mux. EV Mux is mainly designed to be doing live streaming. We're gonna jump into the studio real quick here. We're just gonna check our mic and camera settings, click on enter studio. And the reason I'm showing you guys the actual tools here is to give you an idea of what you can expect before signing up. All right, so EV Mux is extremely easy to use and I like that. Just add your camera, you can add multiple cameras. I can invite guests if I click this, I can copy this link right here and send it to anyone. They could just jump right into the stream. We can choose different layouts here. I can share a screen, I can play a video. Let me show you how to share a screen real quick here. If we were to share the Riverside thing here, let's turn off the mic and camera setup quick here. Go back. So as you can see here, the Riverside screen is over here. I can add it to the scene now. And as I'm recording, so if I just record or go live up here in the right hand corner, this is the screen I can have and I can change the layouts of these individual screens here. So you can essentially do screen recordings or say if you wanna do like gaming videos, like this would be the perfect layout right here. As you're playing your game video footage, people can be live here in your live stream. And what really stands out about EV Mux is they actually have a bunch of plugins that you can add from their marketplace, which is really cool here. I can do a chat box, a giveaway, a poll, you can do a YouTube player built in, a teleprompter, overlay animations. A lot of the other tools don't have this. So they are ahead of the game as far as like adding cool things and features to your live stream. All right, so let's remove this screen here, remove from screen here. And then this is just the main screen right here, the main camera. So EV Mux is a great option. That's my second alternative. And by the way, guys, if you're looking for more information on these tools, I'll throw my affiliate links in the description. And with a lot of them, you'll actually get a free trial to use if you use my link. All right, so like I said, number three was Riverside FM. Number two is EV Mux. And again, these are the best alternatives to using StreamYard. And number one on my list is actually Restream. Let's jump into the studio here. And again, this tool is very similar to EV Mux. So this is the studio here. As you can see, it's a similar layout as the EV Mux, and it looks quite close to StreamYard, if we're being completely honest, except it has more customizations. So this is my camera here that I brought into the studio, and if I click up here in the right-hand corner where it says go live, that's all I have to do. And I can essentially also record videos in here once I choose that setting. I can choose my channels and which channels I wanna go live on. There's a ton of them. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, etc. I can choose the layouts. Like if I am doing a gaming channel, what I would do is I would just present the screen here, do screen share. Then I could choose the window on what your video game is popping up as. But if I just do the Riverside screen here, just like the other one, I can choose the layout of what this looks like as I'm live on camera. This is probably the most popular layout as far as like reaction videos or gaming videos, etc. See my little camera down here in the corner? and I can move this wherever I want, which is pretty cool. Then some of the customizations, as you're live here, you can just redesign a lot of this stuff. You can do a custom background, say if you wanna do a green screen, a lot of the gamers do that. You can add custom caption banners to your streams. See how that shows up? Welcome to my stream, ask questions, blah, blah, blah. Then if you have chat here, you can click on any of the comments and they will pop up on screen, which is also really cool. You can add music, you can add QR codes. Essentially all the customizations that EV Mux had, Restream also has. 
And if you're wondering about pricing on this top three alternatives, they're all basically the same pricing, which makes it even harder to choose, but they're all the same exact pricing within a dollar or two. So it's just like, it essentially boils down to what tool kind of has a better feel for you and what you're trying to do. Are you mainly doing interviews and recordings? then Riverside is probably best for you. But if you're going to be concentrating on streaming, I feel like Restream or Evry Mux is a better choice. Sorry, I keep looking around at all the webcams. It's like, oh, I have so many of them. I, got, I do a lot of streaming, so like I have dealt with all of these tools a lot, guys. And again, guys, if you want more information on the top three alternatives to using StreamYard, I'll throw my affiliate links in the description. If you want more information, you'll probably get free trials on those links. Hit me up in the comments. What are you creating content on? Are you doing a gaming channel? Are you doing a reaction channel? Are you just looking to do screen recordings? I'd love to hear from you. And please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one.